Hey folks, welcome back. Uh, it's been a while, hasn't it? It's been uh, a good two weeks since we came, or we uh, had some videos come out. Uh, I hope y'all are enjoying the uh, space station competition. Um, but not only do I hope you're enjoying it, but I hope you're contributing as well. Uh, we had a great uh, contribution uh, for the last series, uh, and we can't wait to see what you guys are coming up with next. Now, like I talked about in the previous video, uh, we're going to be doing some keythane work. I've pretty much uh, got impatient waiting for official resources to come out, and I decided uh, that probably the best way to get ready for that update is going to be to work with the keythane mod and try to uh, adapt to the problems that we're going to see. So uh, here we're launching basically the first mission of this entire series, uh, and that is the, if you're familiar with the keythane pack at all, that is the detector. It's basically uh, just a, a probe that you mount on a vehicle, a satellite, uh, a ship, whatever, and you send it out and it basically detects the keythane uh, after it's activated, of course, on uh, whatever body that you're, you're uh, trying to get it from. So that's what we're doing here. Uh, I actually did send out a additional um, detector, if you will, for uh, basically, uh, or I guess I should probably start by saying uh, we're going to be doing this on, on Minmus. I think I mentioned that in the last video. Um, but I did send it out just to make sure that there was resources on Minmus, uh, because wouldn't that be fun if we got all the infrastructure set up and uh, and it wasn't there. So we, uh, we sent that out. You'll see it here in a little bit. Uh, we were able to find a little bit. Um, and like I said, that was with the uh, the mini detector, if you will. Again, if you're familiar with Keith Impact, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and then I decided to make a different vessel, this one right here, or uh, our, uh, oh, I forgot what I called it. Uh, but it's basically the larger detector. So we can survey the whole planet, find out where the uh, the packs or the, the pockets of Keithane are, and then uh, we'll move on to actually setting up infrastructure, um, getting some mining ships, and uh, I think... I think we're going to go with some refining uh, in orbit. So I'll probably have a couple of refining things on the the mining ships itself, just to make sure that we can convert some of the keythane on the surface into fuel to get back to the station uh, that we're going to have in orbit. I think that's the way I'm going to do it. Uh, but we'll be doing all the refining in orbit around Minas, so that way I can go ahead and support those other missions. You know, like we have our Duna station or outpost. Uh, that's that's pretty bare bones dry right now, and that needs some resources. So, I will be using this as a uh, as a stepping stone, if you will, to move on to other missions, whether that be to resupply our guys at Duna or uh, you know beyond to other planets, which I have some ideas for. So that'll be cool. So getting uh, or, or working here towards Minmus. I basically had to relearn all the angles and uh, and the transfer burns and all that. You know, dealing with Duna for a while, uh, the phase angles were just... I mean, I had my head wrapped around that. And uh, coming back closer to home, I guess you could say, uh, within the Kerbin system, it was it was a slight learning curve for me to learn how to, how to get back out here. So eventually, obviously, as you can see, we got it figured out, um, which is good. We have our little satellite here. Um, once we get closer in there into Minmus, you will see that there is another satellite orbiting. That was our, our other prospector. Uh, I just wanted to make sure, like I said before, uh, that we had some stuff here that was worth working towards, um, which we did. So we're coming in closer here. Um, there we go. Worked out. Uh, we're going to burn the orbit down so I can get rid of the debris. I'm a, when it comes to orbital debris, I'm a, it's almost OCD. I, I try to have as little as possible. And I don't want to cheat by turning off all the debris. Um, I'd like to kind of do it realistically, if you will. So we set that that chunk that we just separated on a collision course for the surface, uh, which hopefully won't get in our way later on. Um, there you can see the other satellite in orbit. We're going to kind of circularize this orbit. Now, I don't know. I haven't heard of any, uh, like, uh, I mean, I looked at the wikis for all that, for the key thing pack and all that, but I haven't heard any solid numbers on which altitude would be the most ideal to operate each of these sensors from for a, uh, a better you know, visual or detection range or anything like that. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any numbers on that, please, by all means, leave a comment below, and I'll, uh, I'll definitely take it into consideration. Um, but here we are in orbit. Uh, this beeping is going to get pretty annoying, but the beeping you hear right now is basically that it's detecting, and then you heard that other tone, which means that it has actually detected the keythane in the surface. So after uh, our map becomes 
more defined and we get better resolution, we'll be able to really pick out hot spots of Cuthane, and that's where we will plan on sending our mining ships down to uh, gather that stuff up. And then uh, we're going we're gonna to have a, uh, well, I think the next mission is going to be a communication satellite, just uh, to add a touch of realism. And then uh, after that, we'll go ahead and bring up a station that will uh, serve as not only a point for, for people to kind of, a transient point for, for guys to stay, you know, we'll have some habitat modules, uh, but we're also going to have it maintain as a hub where we will not only have the refining capabilities but we'll have some extra fuel tanks and uh and the store or the the mining ships for the keythane will actually come up i think would be the best way we'll transfer the keythane over um into some storage tanks on the station itself so the mining ships can go back to the surface and then uh and then the, all the processing and refining will take place uh, on the station so at least that's how I, uh, I have it in my head. Let's, let's hope it works that way. And then uh, eventually that should be able to support future missions, like we said, out to you know, Duna and wherever. Um, we'll have some more videos coming up soon. Uh, thanks for being patient with us. Uh, it's been a busy couple weeks, uh, but we're gonna, I, I look forward to making some more of this series. And, uh, and yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.